Mapping Sydney's Combustible Cladding. Let's have a look. Good evening everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I have my stein of coffee here and I thought I would share a map I have made. I'm calling it the construction map and it can be found on the says.heiser or Heiser Says blog and I'll share a link to that below. And on this map, I have recorded all of the information that was recently leaked to the Daily Telegraph about the city of Sydney's combustible cladding register. And these are all the buildings that are on the register. There were some duplicates. We filtered the data and a big shout out to PubTest, one of the viewers here. Thank you very much for getting me the data. And what I've done is I've color coded the entries and you can see, you know, these are the ones here. I've color coded the entries per their, their fire risk status. So if they've gone out and done the assessment of them, because all these buildings have been, you know, added to the register and then they have to go and do an assessment of them. And now there's three, three statuses. There's, you know, has it, has the assessment status? Has it been completed? Nope. Is it underway? Or it has been completed? No, underway or yes. And that's blue for underway, red for no and yellow for yes with the map on the background now if you zoom in here you can see each one of these you can click on them here we go we've got cbo 115 broadway ultimo 20 2007 um, so has the risk assessment been completed yes assessment recommendations unknown at this stage has a you know a fire safety order issued now fire safety order that's when there is an issue with the building to the extent that, you know, inter intervention has to be made or drastic intervention and what the requirements are. So there are none. So it's still underway. So they've completed the assessment, but the report, none of the information has gone through yet. Let's, have, let's click on, on this one here. So this is building ENF 689 Harris Street. Fire risk assessment completed? No. So there you go. They still need to complete their assessment. Now, I would if your building is on here, you know, don't freak out. Don't worry. I think this information should be available to the public so they are aware of, you know, if there's a potential issue at their building so that they can, you know, maybe prod the building managers or the body corporate or whoever's in charge maintenance to ensure that these processes get addressed. Because depending on the circumstances, depending on where the cladding is, will affect the implications on the building, will affect what needs to be done to minimize the risk. But you want to make sure that you can hold these people to account and that you can, you know, go, okay, you know, what's going on? What's going on? That's why I, Victoria, where they're not releasing this information, it's concerning because how can the public hold these people to account? Can we trust the government to hold everyone to account? I, I'm losing confidence more and more the more I discover. I'm just, yeah. I think more information has to be out there and publicly accessible. So let's have a look at a few more. Let's look at some that have been completed. Um, so here we go. This is at uh, the Stanford on Kent and uh, the fire risk assessment completed. Yes, the assessment recommendations. So the report regarding the entrance, awn entrance awning of the spread of flame risk, the risk taking in regarding. Okay, so there is a few text editing <laughs> errors. So there's an issue with the entrance awning there. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Let's click on this one here. Let's have a look. You know, Gateway 1, Macquarie Place. Has the assessment been completed? Yes. Nothing, nothing, no issues. So you find some of these, the assessment's been completed, nothing's been noted. So it's not, they're not all, all terrifying. But it's still concerning well, in some ways, it's good that they've got the information. It's concerning that it had to be released uh, to the public. But I'd like to start adding more information and more projects and issues to this map. You know, I've done it separate to my freedom map because this will just be focusing on construction and construction related issues. You know, I'll, I'll start adding some of the, the other buildings in the media that are featured where there are defects, where there's contamination issues. And I'll start mapping on other things as well that we can get into here. I'd like to map the groundwater, the toxic groundwater that's coming from from Sydney. 
in the bay. I mean, we'll have a look here. Let's see this one here. You know, uh, Sydney Corporate Park, 184. Completed, yes. Assessment recommendations. Remove and replace partial amounts of cladding. So there you go. They've got to remove and replace some of the cladding. Some of them here are removing, like, the entirety of the cladding, removing every second story. You know, fire risk has been completed. No action required. Okay, that's good. We'll look at Potter Street. And it's underway. So you can see which ones are, you know, still underway, what's happening. Which ones haven't completed it, though? They're the ones that I'd be most worried about, really, because you don't know what's going on there. And, how, and there are a few, you can see all the red ones, that have not been completed. That haven't been completed. Let's have a look at some of our favorite suburbs that we've been looking at recently. You know, mascots. So it doesn't, doesn't appear to have mascot towers on here, which you'd hope they wouldn't cop it from that as well, would you? So yeah, I'll be adding more and more things. You know, Zetland, oh, come on. Zetland Apartments can't be in here, can they? No, they're not. They're not. That's where it is. But some of the neighbors are. This one, fire risk assessment completed at 14 Gedalia at uh, Stella 2. Not completed. Completed, yes, no action, no action. Completed, yes, no action, no action. So it's good. Uh, underway. No. No. no completed. Okay. No action. No action. So you can see... No. This will just give you an understanding of how much of an issue it is. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is important to make it publicly available. So guys, please have a look. Let me know what you think. If you know of any any other examples or you could access to any other data, please send it through to me because um, this is it here. You can see by a lot of them, you know, it's underway. Remove um, partial amounts. This is the way that it's represented. Um, we geocode the address location so people can have found can find it further testing or investigation so the biscuit factory so we can type in we can do an address search here Did that work nope I got a, I got the wrong thing 13 Thirteen thirty-seven. I'll be up here. Seventeen thirteen four. Where is it? I can't find it. I've got it in wrong. Oh wait, I'm I'm looking at a wrong suburb for that one. Okay, but you can type in your address and see if your property's on there. You, know, you can take measurements here. You can zoom in and out. You can geolocate to where you are. I'm on my computer, so it's not going to work. But uh, if you're on your mobile, this should all work, and you should have access to it. So we'll Darl Darlinghurst, you know. Has it been completed? Yes. No issues raised, or no issues that were leaked. So we can't, you know, we can only add so much here. But I still think it's valuable to have this information here. I still think it's valuable for the public to have access to it. I mean... Okay, so if, if someone's done an assessment of your building, fantastic. Because, you know, some of them it's only a small portion of the building. Some of it's an entry awning. That, and the risk is if it's not contained. They may need to put processes in place to manage the risk, where they have people maybe observing it or, or ensuring people can't access a certain portion of the building at a certain time of day. Or even, you know, temporary additional detectors in the building. There's lots of ways you can do it to mitigate it while the process happens. So it's not the end of the world, but the information needs to get out there. So guys, please let me know what you think. Have a look, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.